Welcome to Military Upgrade. India's first indigenously built aircraft carrier Ina Vikrant has completed its maiden sea trial. It has propelled India into the club of a few countries that have the technical capability of building an aircraft carrier. After a long wait, the Indian Navy's first indigenous aircraft carrier went into the seas for the first time. The five-day long sea trials along with helicopter operations are being considered a big breakthrough, but the crew is now gearing up for fighter jet trials to be ready for commissioning next year. The mammoth warship, that will be called INS Vikrant, is the Indian Navy's first made-in-India aircraft carrier. This takes India into a select band of seven countries, the USA, the UK, France, Russia, Italy, and China, to have niche capabilities to design and build an aircraft carrier. The Indian Navy's previous aircraft carriers were acquired from the UK and Russia. As per naval tradition, ships never die, and in keeping with this tradition, the indigenous aircraft carrier will be back in a new avatar with the same name, Vikrant, India's first aircraft carrier acquired from the UK in 1961 that was decommissioned. An aircraft carrier is a mini-floating, airbase, at sea which sets it apart from other warships in terms of operations, reach, and complexities. It is central to Navy's operations for sea control. 30 aircraft and helicopters can be operated from this ship. This will enable sea control far off from the country, both in times of war and peace, Vice Admiral A.K. Chala, Flag Officer Commanding-in-Chief, Southern Naval Command, said. Vikrant is 262 meters long, 62 meters at the widest part, and has a depth of 30 meters minus the superstructure. There are 14 decks in all, including 5 in the superstructure. The ship has over 2,300 compartments, designed for a crew of around 1,700 personnel, including specialized cabins to accommodate women officers when embarked. While the final touches to the construction work are on, the ship managed to go into the seas with 1,200 personnel on board. It's been a long journey for the new avatar of Vikrant as the construction started in 2006, with the Kochi shipyard, that has an expertise in building civilian commercial ventures, taking up the challenge. Around 2,000 people used to be on board, during construction, with 1,000 supporting from outside. This was over the last two to three years, said Suresh Babu, advisor to CMD Kochi Shipyard. It is all set to be sailing within a year. The earlier Vikrant has had a glorious past playing a pivotal role in the 1971 war with Pakistan. Apart from the glorious exterior, this warship is a technological wonder. The ship is like an 18-story high floating building. The steel used in the hull itself, about 21,000 tons, is adequate to fabricate three Eiffel Towers. The flight deck covers an area roughly the size of two football fields. Vikrant would have two takeoff runways and a landing strip with three arrestor wires and would be capable of operating STOBAR aircraft as well as a range of helicopters. The best aspect about Vikrant is that it is built from scratch. Its design is quite unique and has 75% indigenous components, said Commodore Vishwanathan Gunapati, warship production superintendent. At the bottom of the warship is the engine room, described as the heart of the ship. The speed at which she travels is controlled from this place at the bottom of the 14 decks. The hangar area is around midway to the top. It can accommodate 30 aircraft and helicopters. Next to it are two lifts for the aircraft to be taken to the flight deck, 